Hey guys, Brittany here. Welcome back to Supergirl. We are going to jump in. This is Supergirl Season 5, Episode 3, Blurred Lines. Oh, shit. Now I have a stupid song stuck in my head. But you're an animal, baby, is in your nature. Oh, wow. Disgusting. Aww. Try not to worry so much. What job did he take? Lena forgave you. Okay, so you're gonna have to Did she? Oh. There's memories. Lex was working with Q-Waves. It was part of his plan to get past Superman's invulnerable skin. 100 and 127. 127. Yes, I almost mastered the sonnet. Oh, I think you got it. Deeper emotional resonance. Oh, honey, just tell him. Some sparkly death. Interesting. Next. Wait, wait. A 33 year old genius. Sentimental tribe just pitched us a category, but it's not sparkly. And there's no What? Who cares about Bucky? How do you know there's Fuck no substitute store? May have a murder to solve. Unless you don't want a super friend. Well, of course I do. Look at there. Super friend. Another fly? No, it's the same fly, you bitch. You! Fancy old son. Thanks. Sam! How is he pulling this up? You sneaky bitch. I'm offering. Oh. Oh, fuck. But she seems so genuine right now. Lena, come on. You can't tell me you are completely okay acting like this. Oh, it's gonna be like aliens. Is he killing him? They are. It's Here is the memory. Secure army facility and stealing Lex Luthor's journals. You know what? Brainy just illegally hacked into security cameras at a nightclub to help me solve this Dr. Jared's murder. I don't see you scolding him. Totally different. It's not that simple. My job is new, and then there's protocol. Kelly, please help me. You have to keep this on the down low. Pete. Is that okay? Oh, of course. You're a lifesaver. How dare you manipulate her to help you, even though you are a great actress. No. I'm... Mia! But there is something that I have to tell John. I bite it myself. James, how'd you get this so fast? Nice. Remember when I wasn't okay with Guardian? I'm so glad he's grown on me. He was my boy. My child. He could not control his illness. Then I have failed everyone. John did it. Go on, me, forgive me. Yeah, fuck. 
I know I called it in the beginning, but then he's like, oh, he's my father, but it definitely looked like he did in the beginning. It was me. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I knew it. Probably wasn't finding the strength to lift him up, I, uh... I crossed a line that's unforgivable and let go. Line crossed. I wanted to find out. That is the least of my sins. Oh, Jean, don't beat yourself up. Sorry. Oh, I'm so Oh, Nia. These will scan your brain. Let's do it. Uh oh. Really starting to bug me. <laughs> bug. Get it. And what the fuck is your deal? What are you doing? But she's Damn, I don't like this. Now I know what I have to do. Come on, that's way too far. Lena, that's 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 crossing a line. Now you're lying. Now you're make now, now you're a villain. Now you're a villain. I know I said last episode that fucking I get it that her decisions are justified. I get that she's hurt and shit, but this is you're crossing a line and now you're at least Kara's reasons for lying was like in pursuit of protecting you. You're lying to her to hurt her intentionally. Kara unintentionally hurt you. There's a fucking difference, and that's what makes you a villain. And that's what makes me love and hate Lena right now. From a villain, like, from a character arc standpoint, I think she's great because her actions make sense. I understand why Lena's doing it, but I don't have to like it. I don't have to like it. And the fact that, like, Lena still firmly believes that she's doing the right thing by humanity makes her an even better villain. I love slash hate but love villains that think they're doing the right thing good villains to me are villains that think that their actions are right that they think they are the hero no good villain actually believes that they are the villain true villains are the ones that think they are actually doing the right thing so i think Lena is making a really good villain right now because she thinks that she is in the right. Her end for following her for two years, you as an audience member and as me following her for four years, her character since she was introduced into season two, I understand why she chose what she's, why she's doing what she's doing. I understand that hurt that goes with it. And having a character develop like this for four years later to finally flip a lid and be like, you know what, fuck you. But not actually fuck you. Because in her head, she still thinks she's doing the right thing. She still believes that she's good. Which, in her, somewhere in her heart, she is. 
certain villains that's kind of it's debatable but Lena still thinks she's doing the right thing and of course she doesn't want humanity to hurt she wants humanity to not like that but that's the way she's going about it is pretty fucked up and uh she's failing failing miserably but thank you guys so much sorry this came out to you guys very late comment below your guys' thoughts what did you like what did you dislike and i look forward to seeing you guys next time hopefully on a better posting schedule